Hi Poo Poo's, Nessa Poo Queen of Pepper Terror. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Tribe. So this is a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, for love for the month of March. I mean March. For the month of April. <laughs> uh, keep in mind these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me. To find out what your love story is. Or check out your moon rise, know your Venus sign. Universe, spirits, and guys, what's going on for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for love for the month of April 2021. Y'all want to talk already. We have breathe at the bottom of the deck. Mending. Somebody wants to get on the same page with you. What? <laughs> I knew that was going to come out. Some of you guys got something new coming in towards you. Somebody wants to mend something with you, but it's time to disconnect from this person. Um, we got mending, time to go, and time for a nap. So, time for a nap and time to go is two cards that saying goodbye. Taking a break and just letting it go completely. Like, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Uh-uh. Time to go. Y'all been getting that for the last uh, few months now. Or the last couple of months at least. I know when y'all um, March reading, it was saying the same thing. And actually when I was just shuffling them uh, these cards, um, it had said... Um, um, chaos and uh conflict so you guys are still having conflict with somebody that you need to let go it's, it's not changing yep take the lead seek the truth Yeah, this person trying to rebuild with you. Yep, change your focus. Yep, somebody's trying to speak to you with throat chakra. Moving on. Yep. Opportunity beckons. Sadness and isolation. Just breathe. Love abounds. Share the love. Shine. You guys are supposed to be shining somewhere else, even if you're feeling alone. You got the clarity already for something else with joy and stability here. This situation you need to leave alone, no matter even if you love this person, if you take a break from this person, this is not going to change. Because moving on, there is no reason for that should have um, coming out. Yep, coming to um, cold and detached towards this person. You know this is toxic with this devil in it. is a burden with the ten of wands. This is going to leave you nothing but pain and hurt. This is why they're telling you to let it go. Yeah, somebody want to come out of hermit mode. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, it's time to close this, these emotions out. The King of Cups. Stop there. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Yep, there's that three of swords again. This is going to cause hurt. And maybe somebody is too immature. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. And this is a person who was a player too. 
And I feel like this person really don't know how to communicate and actually tell their feelings for real, for real. Or even having an adult conversation. Could be somebody that you was married to or a long commitment. Uh, or another Taurus with this higher fan. Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yep, time to cut this off. Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands. This person was too indecisive, which means you need to end that. And walk away. Close this chapter with the Eight of Cups and the World card. Because this is nothing but a this 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 not gonna go nowhere. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry to even laugh, but this just not it's not gonna go nowhere. And I feel like y'all keep fighting for this, and they keep telling you the same thing. Like you have these options and all these cups that's lined up, and people trying to give them to you, but you guys are steady looking at this this one person that you know this is not gonna last with. It's not gonna work. Could definitely be somebody who's living with the twin flame or um somebody you're married to or somebody you are married to it's time to get yourself unstuck you're making yourself stuck you're giving yourself anxiety it's too much sadness and regret here it's deception here it's time to get balanced and let it go this is a wounded warrior y'all are going to be wounded this person is too immature for you time to release it So what, what's, what's, what's wrong? Look, revenge. See? And this person want revenge on? Oh, Lord. What's, what's wrong with this person? Behind what? What's Black flower fragrance. The child I was meant to be. This person has childhood issues. And it's like they they bring it on that negativity onto you. And y'all know that. But you still want to hold on to this. So, look, you got new love coming though. Release your ex. I cannot make this up. I can't. Let your friends help you. Separation. Stay optimistic. One more. And two more. Time to stay in separation with this person. Well, separation is coming up. Y'all too different from each other. And this person could be also codependent. Emotionally codependent or just codependent on you? Yeah, retreat. It's time to disconnect from this. It's time to just let it go. All these cards are saying the same thing. So let's see what advice they have for you. fears new moon and scorpio and surrender to the divine full moon you need to just let this go um i know you're fearful of letting this person go because this could be your comfort zone or this is probably only the love the only true love that you know or you just feel comfortable with this person or you just don't want to be alone but you have to because i feel like the the universe is going to end up stepping in and you need to surrender to the divine to the universe that's just what it is no, people don't like to hear that, but you have to do it or they're going to keep on putting you through the same old cycle. And the same old cycle is going to get worse and worse and more hurtful and more hurtful and more hurtful. So, what are you guys going to do? Stay in the same cycle or go towards something else that makes you more happy? Because we did see new love. We did see it. We saw it. So other than that, that is all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Also, my Instagram is down in the description box as well. Do me a favor. Go over there and hit that follow button for me. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I love you guys, and I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.